What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be promoting a very, very cool offer on ClickBank using Bing ads. And this is a really interesting offer. We have a lot of affiliate resources that we can use. And it's an offer that, you know, it's a type of offer that I used to promote some years back with, with pretty good success. And this is an offer that I do recommend to others to promote. And I'm going to show you exactly how to promote it in this video. So the first thing that should come to your mind when you're beginning to pick an offer to promote and ClickBank and Max Bounty somewhere else is the offer selection, okay? I typically like to think about offers on ClickBank as, you know, you have these mainstream offers, right? Business and investings, you have a lot of these kind of health and fitness, um, you know, even some of the other category. And then you have some of these niche offers, right? Niche offers. And these niche offers, they are typically a lot better to promote. They're easier to promote. They're easier to kind of to make money with they are may not be as profitable as some of the other big guns but they're a lot easier to for beginners right and so when you are going on clickbank my recommendation is that you start with niche offers and what are niche offers right an offer is a niche offer when it's about hobbies when it's about specific interests when it's not for the whole you know the whole population of the united states or the world right so an example of a good niche that i found is this one right here brain training for dogs unique dog training course high quality dog training course featuring 21 games to improve a dog's intelligence and behavior right so this has a uh, it has a gravity of 133 which is pretty good right it's it's kind of on the high end right i typically like a, uh, to recommend the gravity at least 20 right so anything under 20 you know there's not a lot of interest in that offer probably because it's not profitable but anything above 20, right, and, you know, 100, 150 as kind of the, the ceiling, right, those what I would call a good offer, right? So this is kind of towards the end of that ceiling, right, towards the high end of the ceiling. It's 133 gravity, which means that there's a lot of interest in this offer. There's, you know, a lot of people promoting, a lot of affiliates, and that means they're probably making good money with it because affiliates and, you know, experienced affiliates are not going to be spending a lot of money if they're not getting that money back, all right? So this is an offer I found for you guys after really kind of looking through ClickBank and, and looking for quality offers. And so if you click on the landing page, right, you have this, you have basically the landing page that you can check it out and always view the landing pages of the offers you want to promote because this is where, this is what you're going to be, you know, this is where, where you're going to be spending the money on. This is what you're going to be showing to people. So if it has a very low quality, crappy landing page, you know, you should think twice, right? Do I really want to stay, stand behind this offer and like push this offer? And this has a really nice landing page. Look at this. Look how long it is. And typically, not always, right? But typically, for the most part, the longer the landing page, the better it converts because they're basically explaining everything. They're, you know, um, blocking all the objections the person might have. They're kind of deflecting the objections. They're giving you social proof. They're talking about testimonials, right? And this is a high quality landing page. And if you scroll down, you can click on instant access. And this goes immediately to ClickBank's um, order form, right? Checkout. And it's only $47, right? So it's not like, you know, $300. It's not like a $500, you know, make money online course. It's not even, you know, $97 or $67. It's only $47, which is not a lot of money, right? In this grand scheme of things, right? They're not going to sell a course for $20, right? Because it's going to cheapen it. But here they are. They're basically, you know, listing all the modules. And this is not an expensive course. And this is for somebody... Who has a dog and the dog is not you know obedient right eliminate to eliminate bad behavior and create obedient well-behaved pet of your dreams right and this is a big one right they have shows uh in the united states in england that i've seen in the uk about you know shows about these disobedient dogs this is a big one right uh because if you have a disobedient dog it, it really kind of ruins the lifestyle of you and your family etc etc and so this is a cool offer. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the affiliate page, okay? This is where ClickBank offers shine, right? Because they're telling you really like why, how you, the angles you can promote this offer, different things that you can do. And take a look, looking for banners and giveaway. We're going to get to that in a second. But first, I want to show you. Uh, hello, I'm a professional CPDTKA certified dog trainer. I don't know what that is, but it's probably something uh, important of creator of brain training for dogs by finding this page, sign up to our affiliate. They're listing kind of the, the, the demographics, right? The people might be interested in this. You're getting 75% on each sale you make and you're going to be making $31 on average per sale. 
And so if you have any questions, you can email them, right? So this is where you can email them and say, hey, you know, I want to promote this here. I want to promote this there, which is the best audience. They probably know what's going on. Uh, another very, very cool thing that they're doing is that they have a link to their landing page, but you can also link directly to the checkout page, right? And this is a big one because that means you could create your own landing page, right? And say like, hey, uh, you, can, you can send it to your list, right? You don't need to. Maybe you don't like their landing page. Maybe it's not converting for your traffic. No problem. You can link directly to their uh, checkout page, which is very, very huge. I actually run campaigns where I create my own landing page and send directly to the checkout page. And this is very, very cool. And this is something that you cannot really do in a lot of other networks. And, and really with a lot of other offers, you cannot do this. So this is a big one. If you want to see some of the things I've been doing, search my videos. I have a ClickBank product in, in, in one of my videos where I link directly to the checkout page. And this is how you do it, right? And so this is about the product. And this is not everything, right? They have a sales copy. So you can click directly here and you're going to be, you know, given a lot of resources, right? A lot of awesome resources. I mean, take a look at this. Scroll down, right? And you can see banners. You can see email swipes, email free giveaways, promotional videos, keyword ideas, things like that, right? So you can, you can do free giveaways, right? You can have banners for a banner network, right? Email swipes, right? Promotional videos for like YouTube ads or Facebook ads, right? Keyword ideas, right? Keyword ideas. And this is this is kind of why I really like the software for Bing ads. You can use Google ads if you'd like, but Bing ads, I think, is going to be really, really ideal for this, all right? So what you need to do is you have to download this keyword list. I already downloaded it. And what I did, I, I re-imported it into basically Google Sheets. Google Sheets is absolutely free. You don't need to buy an app or anything like that. Just go Google Google for Google Sheets and you will sign up with your own Google account. Then you can import the spreadsheet. And here's what I got, right? And how many words we have? We scroll down. Let's take a look. We have a thousand words, right? 1,121 words, right? And they're basically listing it by uh, advertiser competition. Uh, they have local searches suggested bid then you can filter it right you can basically go in here and basically create a filter you can create a filter and all of these things right you can group a column you could do a lot of interesting things so here we go you can create a filter using this link right here i uh, create a new filter view you, i can create a filter and basically you know just say hey i want you know keywords that are you know below right i can create a condition and and basically just get keywords that are a certain price range. So let's say you want to only talk, you want to only uh, use keywords that are low competition, right? So you basically click on this, you deselect this and you only select low, right? So we are only going to select low, we click OK and now it's only low, right? And in order to count how many keywords you have, you basically select this column, click on this and the count is 717. So out of 1100, 717 are basically low competition. We could do the same thing for just medium, right? Let's say you only want medium, right? So we deselect low, we click on medium, and now we only have medium and we have 84, right? So this might be actually a good set, right? They're not low, they're not high, they're kind of medium. We can roll with this and this is kind of the advantage of having all this data in front of you, right? I can filter it the way I want. I can, you know, do local searches, suggested bid. I wouldn't really worry about this. I mean, you know, I, you know, I personally just, I'm just kind of looking at this and I feel like, okay, let's pick medium and just go with 84 keywords, right? So what we're going to do is we're basically going to select all this. We're going to copy this. And then when we're creating the campaign, we can actually use these keywords, okay? And so the next thing that you want to do is you want to head, head over to Bing, right? And you want to create the campaign. And the way you do it, you have to sign up for Bing. You might have to input your credit card. Uh, there, there are all kinds of promotions that are running from time to time where they have a credit, $150 credit, $200 credit. Uh, I think I signed up. When I signed up, they had like a, a $125 credit or something like that. So I got some free money to, to spend on my initial campaigns. This was years ago, so I don't know if they're still running it uh, now. And so what you want to do is you want to click on campaigns. You want to click on create campaign here. And we're going to follow the entire process here. We're going to click on visit to my website here. And then we're going to start creating kind of the name of the campaign. So I'm going to call this C1. You can call it whatever dog campaign or something like that. For the budget, I recommend something like $10 a day. Now, this product is $47. So you cannot stop. You cannot. I mean, if you are running the campaign, you don't have any sales. 
you have to usually you know good good practice is to spend until about break even point right so you know you would not run it for ten dollars spend ten or five dollars and say okay there's no sales this this is not a good campaign no it doesn't work like that right if it's 47 dollars, you have to spend at least that amount maybe go a little bit over that just to see what happens and then if you don't have any sales then yeah you have to change something but you have to spend at least that amount because if you spend 47 45 dollars or 50 dollars and you get a sale you're breaking even which is fine right you're building a list hopefully maybe you are maybe you're not and uh, at least you're breaking even so that means that that's fine right now you can optimize it you can make it better and you can make more money right so if we want to start with a testing budget that's fine you can do ten dollars per day i like to start with the united states obviously there's no limit where you can sell it anywhere in the world i like to typically start with the united states so i'm gonna uh, enter united states here i'm gonna click enter and i'm gonna say target right here united states we have that who should see your ads people in your targeted locations people searching for or viewing we don't really care about the second one we are only interested in people in your targeted locations we're going to deselect the second one english is already selected save and go to the next step here is we where we create the ad group and keywords right and this is where we're basically creating a group of keywords that are going to be targeted for a specific landing page right it's called an ad group and inside the ad group could be various ads that are specific to those keywords right and so we don't really care about the website we can call it ad group name i'm just going to call it ag1 and now we have the keywords right we already have the keyword list but before we do that we want to talk about match types right and match types really so for instance if you go to these keywords right how they are displayed right there's no uh there's nothing around them it's just it's just a keyword phrase right so for instance if we copy and paste this and we enter it here right this is very general right we're basically you know google or bing or wherever you're doing this campaign it doesn't really you know it doesn't mean that this is an exact match people your searchers the visitors right they can enter pretty much a lot of variations of this phrase right they can they don't even need to enter all the words here they don't need to really enter in this order or anything like that so this is called the broad match it's very very broad sometimes your ad might show up even if uh, the search is very different, right? It could be, you know, relatively different. It could be, you know, a little different. It could be, you know, substantially different. And so what you want to do, right? You want to talk about match types, right? And in order to understand match types, you can, you can, you can go into uh, Google and type something like match types. And so here's a nice diagram that kind of explains match types in better detail. We have broad, broad match modifier, phrase, exact, and negative so broad is like pretty much it could be anything right so if you have a keyword phrase like this it can match service tips you know a lot of other phrases that could be uh, rad radically different broad match modifier is when you append the plus sign right and typically this means that these words need to appear they could be in any order they could be but they need to be in your keyword phrase right so for instance somebody searching for plumber service you know your, your ad is going to show up somebody also searching for plumber emergency service your ad is going to show up but if somebody's searching for plumbing tips your ad is not going to show up for phrase they have to be in that in they have to be together right there could be other words surrounding them but they have to be together right plumber service plumber service plumber service near me etc etc as long as you have plumber service together the, your ad is going to appear but this one you know plumber emergency service is not going to appear exact match this is this is exactly what it says you just need plumber service right if you have any of these emergency near me tips that's not gonna work right and then you have a negative where you're basically specifying a keyword and it's a negative one if that keyword appears in the keyword in the search phrase people are searching for uh your your uh that you know your ad is not going to show up for that keyword phrase okay so now that we understand that the next thing you want to do is you want to google for something called uh, you want to basically Google for something called a uh, keyword toaster. And this is a nice tool that I use all the time, right? It's right here. And if you open it up, right? If you click on this and you open it up, you will see what I'm talking about, right? So this allows you to create a list of match types very, very quickly. And the reason we need this is because I like to basically, when I'm working, I like broad modified and exact match. So if we go back to this diagram, what I like is this broad match a modifier and exact match i don't really do broad obviously it's a bad idea to do broad don't do broad phrase you know i don't like to do phrase you can do it sometimes i do it but very rare, uh, rarely and i also have a negative list as well where i basically have 
uh, you can basically Google or you know search for a list, a negative keyword list for you know Bing ads or something like that. And there's gonna be things like free trial, you know, things like that. Basically, a lot of kind of window shoppers that are not really interested in the product. You want to avoid, you know, downloads free. There's a lot of searches like that. So especially if you're selling some kind of an informational product, a software product, uh, you want to basically have a, a negative word match for that. Okay. So once we understand that, what we want to do is we want to basically take these keywords that we have. Remember, we're working with the medium keywords and we're going to have 40, 84 keywords here. And we basically want to take these keywords here and basically paste them in our keyword toaster. So we're going to paste them here. We're going to remove this first header column and we have 83 keywords, right? And so I already selected, I want broad modified, right? As you can see, it gets a little bit darker and exact match, okay? And so what it does, it basically creates our list for us, right? We have the broad modified, so we don't have to basically add the plus signs next to it. And we have exact match. So this allows me flexibility because broad modified means like, okay, you know, I want those words to appear. I don't really care about the, in, in what order, but I just want those words to appear, right? I don't want, you know, uh, being basically showing my ads when it's remotely similar. I don't want that. I want some kind of control. And then I have exact match. Basically, I, I want, you know, I want to catch these terms. And these are a lot more valuable for me, right? These exact match are a lot more valuable for me. And I can actually bid higher amounts, right? So I can bid a little bit higher for these exact match keywords. And for this broad match, I could bid a little bit lower because it, it doesn't mean that we're gonna match exactly this. There could be some other phrase that, you know, we don't even know what people are gonna type. Uh, Bing or Google doesn't even know, right? Because 50 up, you know, between 15 and 20% of searches every day are brand new searches, never seen before, right? This is a very interesting statistics act, actually. And so this is something to keep in mind because a lot, you know, we, we don't really know what people are going to search for 15 to 20 percent of the time. They're brand new, never seen before. But we want to catch at least some of them. Right. And that is why we're doing this uh, broad, modified and exact match. Right. So once we have that, we can copy and paste that, go back to our campaign and we have a list right now. You can enter a URL. You can enter uh, some kind of phrase here and you can get ad, ad group and keyword ideas. You know, you can do that if you have no idea, but we have a huge list here, right? So we don't really, you know, we don't really need to, I don't really need to do this. You can do that if you'd like, but we have our keywords here. We're going to save and go to the next step. And now we're going to create the actual ad uh, for, you know, for this campaign, right? And so the ad, you can create multiple ads. And this is for this um, kind of this campaign for this ad group, right? These ads, they're specific to the ad group, right? And that is because this ad group is about certain keywords, right? So we're not going to create another ad with other benefits, other phrases that are not really, that really don't have anything to do with the specific keywords that we are working with, right? So we're going to create an ad here. And when you're creating an ad, right, this is a lot of, you know, a lot of kind of creative work, right? A lot of, uh, you have to be kind of, um, you know, a little bit creative, right? Some copywriting uh, happening here. What you want to do is you want to go to the landing page, right? You want to go to the landing page. Sometimes the affiliate uh, pages, they basically give you a, um, they basically give you some ideas, right? You can go here. There's some uh, banners, right? You can go to banners, right? So let's say, let's open, let, let's go into banners and see what the banners are. And basically there, they have some, you know, a lot of these, but teach your dog to stack rings, right? Teach your dog to do the teach your dog to play the piano. That could be an angle, right? But this is obviously, you know, they're showing they're showing the banner, right? We cannot, uh, we you you can use this angle. I'm not saying you can, but you know, here they're actually showing proof of a dog doing it. Uh, you can do it. I mean, it's it's a good it's a good it's a good thing to try, right? So, for instance, our final URL is gonna be you. You know, I recommend to having like a domain, right? And Bing ads, you can typically even direct link, but I do recommend buying a domain. Uh, in this kind of niche. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, should I buy a domain for every offer I run? No, you should not. But for a dog training niche, you can buy a domain. Maybe it could be a pet training niche, have a domain. And then you can have a slash, you know, like, uh, you know, brain, uh, dog brain training for dogs. So you can have something like this, right? You can have, you know, dog training experts, something like this, .com. And then you can have a path for one offer, right? So this specific offer, you know, you can have a path or something like that. And then, you know, when they come to it, you, you will be able, this is the final URL, right? So the final URL could be something like, um, you know, offer one or something like product one, right? They're not going to see this, 
right? We don't have to do that. It's just, we, we just list the domain. And then on that niche domain, you can have several offers. That is why I talk a lot about promoting niche offers, right? Because you're going to have other dog offers. You're going to have other kind of cat offers or whatever they may be, right? Pet is a big one. Pet is a huge niche. And so I recommend buying. I would easily buy this domain. It's only $7 a year, right? You, your campaign doesn't work. You're out of like seven, eight dollars, right? It's not a big deal, right? Dog, dog training is a big market, right? There's a lot of people that are interested. And so the final URL, which is where you know you're gonna redirect, right? Which is gonna be set up. And this is the visible URL, right? So you can put something like this, and it's gonna show something else, right? We don't really, you know, if you're buying the domain, you don't need to mess with this, right? You just leave it as is because you have a domain. It's very, very clean. Dog training experts, and then you can, you might have, you know, it could be product could be something else you might have you know some kind of redirect happening things like that and this is what i recommend and this domain can you know you you can th this is it, it keeps it a lot more flexible this way you can have a landing page there you can redirect to the checkout um page and things like that i do recommend creating a landing page i've done it i do it all the time for the campaigns and that keeps it legit and that way i can redirect directly to the checkout page right or i can i, I can have a blog there or something like that and i can redirect to the um you know, to the actual landing page, right? I do recommend creating a landing page. It's getting a lot harder, especially in 2020 and beyond to do direct linking, right? You can, there's some ways, but you know, on ClickBank, it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky. All right, so the title here is something like, teach your dog, teach your dog to play the piano, something like this. Okay, so we're teach your dog play, to play piano, something like this, you know? You know, something simple. There's so many angles you can do, right? Just ask yourself, why would somebody buy it, right? You have the disobedient dog angle, right? You have, you teach your dog to play the piano, right? May, you know, uh, make your dog obey you. Put, you know, something like, you need an angle, right? And this is something you have to kind of research uh, using our proven, using our pro proven tactics system. Something like this. And you can have the third, third part here ad text this is going to go below right and and this this in this case you also need need to kind of uh do some kind of um research you basically can go to their landing page eliminate bad behavior and create so yeah you can basically go and paste this directly inside the campaign 12 characters remaining eliminate bad behavior ad text too you can add more mobile url you can do that you have a tracking template right if you're doing bmop stuff and that means that, you know, basically if you're doing some kind of tracking, which is what every, a lot everybody's doing tracking, right? And so what you can actually, you know, if you're tracking, right, you can enter your, uh, you can basically have the tracking template here, which is going to be your BMOP stuff. And then the final URL is going to be here, but it has to redirect there. Uh, they're they're going to definitely look into that. And so you have this, you can click on save and we have their ad, right? And we have the first ad and I recommend creating three ads. It's going to take you a couple of minutes to do it. You just need three angles, right? You need three angles. You don't need, this could be, I would even create like, you know, three, four ads, right? So one is like teach your dog to play a piano. Is your dog, is your dog disobedient, right? I can think of angles like just right now, right? Take a look at this. So this is the piano. They really like that angle, right? Professional dog trainer. Uh, let's go look at the landing page. The landing page is where you get all your angles, right? Dog training, fail to engage your dog, need the secret. The secret to using your da the secret um, to stop your dog's bad behavior, right? That's a that's a nice angle. You know, they don't need to be great angles. You just it's it's a lot better to have three or four ads, different ads that get rotated by Bing and seeing which ones are converting, than you know not not seeing that. All right. So that is how you do it. That is how you set up this campaign. We also have cycling extensions. Uh, I would not even sometimes I recommend putting in the price. You can. But I would not, like me personally, I would have maybe one ad with a price, maybe another ad with no price. Um, you know, sometimes it's a good idea to have the price simply because before they click on it, they know they have to buy it. But, you know, with a $47 product, you're not going to have a lot of resistance, right? We're not selling a $300, you know, dog training course. It's only $47. It's an impulse purchase. So I would not really like, you know, deal with kind of pricing. You don't need to do... Uh, you can have, you can list the benefits, right, in this kind of cycling extension. You can have a fact, you know, you know, if you're linking directly to your own landing page, you can have links to different parts of your own landing page. You can, you can have a price extension, like I talked about, call-out extensions. I would not really mess with these too much because, you know, it's just, it's a very simple offer. And so you can do that save and exit. 
we can do that and that's it now the campaign is going to go into a review that is how you do it right it's only the product is only 47 dollars i mean it's an easy way to do it provided you have the right keywords the right targeting you can promote it on a lot of different platforms and that is why i think it's an excellent offer just for beginners to starting out and to trying this out all right guys so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments leave them below would be happy to help you out if you enjoyed this video definitely smash the like button and if you want to see other videos such as this one different offers different ways of getting traffic different ways of promoting unpaid traffic sources free traffic sources etc etc definitely subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and i will see you in the next